Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Yesterday, uh, I decided to connect this second 30-inch screen to one of my MacBook Pros. It's still connected to that. That's running OS X as connected through a dual-link DVI cable from this particular MacBook Pro. And this is the, right here, this spot is where my dog Wicket really threw up earlier. Uh, luckily, he did not damage the keyboard. Uh, and as you can see, I can you know control everything. This is that's the big in in the spaces. That's the big monitor, and that's the the MacBook Pro screen. So yes, you can see that I've got full control over that. It's still connected to that. Then over here, I've got my other uh, MacBook Pro, which is not connected to anything other than the internet and you know power. And then of course in the middle, I've got the magical craptastic Flop 3D. So uh, I'm proving to you that indeed that is Windows Vista. This is OS 10, and obviously that's going to be OS 10 as well. Now I've got one mouse and one keyboard. What I'm going to do is going to move this window here on Windows Vista. I'm going to move it around because I like it uh, right in that position. Now. I'm going to move my mouse over to here and do some stuff in OS 10. Okay, let's do some cover flow. All right. Uh, in fact, let's uh, let's go back to yeah, okay. There's expose, some spaces. Let's do a little dashboard widgetry. Let's move that over here. Okay, we are looking good. There. Okay, so I'm done with that now. Uh, I'm going to move my keyboard and mouse over to my other MacBook Pro and look at that I'm uh, using everything and my disposal I open it up the hard drive so you're browsing the applications folder oh yeah that's great yeah oh the DVD player mm -hmm. font book mm -hmm. oh yeah garage band yeah I love that in fact I want to launch it uh, there we go it's launching we <clears throat> this is not Synergy, which was software that was recommended to me that would allow me to use the same keyboard and mouse to control different screens that may be, well, wherever, quite honestly, any uh, terminal uh, that I connect to it. Uh, Synergy was a, a pain in the neck, honestly, to install and configure, and I couldn't get it working, largely because it hasn't been updated since 2006. And either Vista was having a problem with it or Leopard was having a problem with it. Either way, I was having a problem with it. So IK Tech, one of our uh, moderators in the channel at live.perillo.com, suggested a program, free program, called Win2VNC. That's W-I-N, the number 2, V-N-C. And with Win2VNC, your primary machine, if it happens to be Windows, can act as a, a VNC viewer, if you will, and it will allow you to connect to any other machine that has a VNC service running and from there you know control whatever happens to be you know on that computer so it's using VNC to work on different machines but of course the workflow is equally as amazing now I couldn't drag and drop a window from this screen to that screen it doesn't work that way that's not VNC virtual network computing um, the idea behind this is is you've got a, a, almost a virtual KVM, a, a keyboard, video, mouse, although video is already on the separate machine, so it's less video, it's more like keyboard, mouse, in combination with VNC, which allows you to control a computer remotely, but it's just, what I like about it is that this is absolutely seamless. I mean, I've only got, I've already got the VNC service running on both the Macs. Uh, Win2 VNC is a simple program uh, that it just, it just freaking works. It just works. Uh, there was a, an update that was available, apparently, that we didn't find out about because he didn't link it from his original site. But for each one of these screens, I've got a different a VNC instance running on my Vista computer. All I have to do when I have uh, the when I have it actually connected to the machine is I tell it which direction is that machine sitting. Is it sitting 
west? Is it sitting east? Is it sitting north? Is it sitting south? And based upon that, when I move my cursor in this direction, the westerly direction, then it controls that particular MacBook Pro or the screen that's connected to it. And when I move it in the easterly direction, well, then it controls that screen. And I and again, I'm using my key. It's a it's a VNC connection, so I can use my keyboard, I can use my mouse, I can use uh, you know access just about every feature I can access using those two uh, pieces of uh, well virtual equipment. I can control that machine remotely. Uh, it worked uh, flawlessly. In fact, the only snag I might see in this is when I move from Windows as my primary operating system to OS X. But when that happens, uh, let me uh, show you this one. Well, you may not be able to see it very easily. There's a, a free program that's specifically built for OS X called Teleport. And Teleport essentially does the same thing, but just between, that I know of, just between machines running OS X and the Teleport software. So uh, Teleport, fantastic if you're just on OS X. If you're running Windows, Win to VNC. Or if you're running both Windows and a Mac, Win to VNC, FTW, for the win. KTEC, amazing recommendation. Uh, it worked, I think, better than I, I, I could have hoped Synergy uh, would have worked. Uh, Synergy really needs to be updated. Uh, Win to VNC, perfect. I, I can't recommend it enough, especially because it's absolutely free. So anyway, uh, <laughs> if you know of any other cool productivity tips and tricks uh, to help you manage computers or just in general interesting cool stuff that people need to know about, either leave a comment or better yet, email me, chris at perillo.com. That's how you get a hold of me. I see all my emails, may not respond to every one of them, believe me, I see them all. And of course, you're also welcome to swing by the chat room where we're typically talking tech. Sometimes I run into issues and I throw it out to the general community and they respond pretty quickly. You are a member of that community just by watching this video. You're welcome to swing by anytime, day or night. We're typically talking tech 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.